Hey, what's up you guys? Sam Burr here. Welcome back to Sammy Vostok and welcome back to my channel. So today, wow. finally, I have been wanting to do an eco village for so, so long. But other things always just came up first and took priority over an eco village. So finally, we're going to be doing that today. We're going to be utilizing a lot of the eco friendly buildings that we got through DLCs and try to make it as, you know, environmentally friendly as possible. It might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see how we go. So where are we going to be doing it? Well, we're going to be venturing up into the mountains, up into that little lake that has been just left there for so long. And we're going to build a little village around that. We're going to do a bit of a speed build and then towards the middle or end of the video, I'm just gonna go through the whole thing and explain it. So enjoy this little speed build and um, stick around and check out how great it looks towards the end. Hi, welcome back from that little speed build. A lot happened and here we are. I thought we'd, we'd go from a bit of a night shot because it does look really, really pretty at night. The sun is, I don't know, I think it's just coming up now, but it's it looks really nice because we have the different the different light colors. We have the, uh, the aqua, we have the yellows and orange, the whites. It looks really, really nice. Now, we're going to be just going through this live. So yes, I am here, look at this. Whoa, we are here. And um, we're just gonna go through everything, explain why things are in certain ways, and just how I designed it and things like that. Because I know sometimes you guys like to know my thought process and I, I like explaining stuff. So here it all is very, very informal. Look at it all, kind of hard to see it right now. But wow. the thing is, I didn't want it to be super, super bright. Obviously this part is here, but we'll get to that in a second. But the rest of it, it's not over the top. Whereas if we turn around, look at the city, I mean, there's a lot of light pollution over there, but over here, not too bad. Uh, I didn't want to venture up into the mountains at all. I didn't want to like 
for example, like we have this road here. I didn't want to go do a random road that goes up to here. And then there's some buildings up there. So I wanted to keep it all pretty much down near the water. So I basically did one level that's right on the water line and then a second one. And we don't really go above two levels. So there's different levels, but there's technically only two building levels, if that kind of makes sense. So here it all is. And the thing is, you know it's a good eco village when you look up here and you don't even see the houses but up here is full of houses so if i go up here wow oh look there they all are and you didn't even see them because it's so bushy it's so eco-friendly oh it's nice so all of these buildings are the eco building so i plop down literally everything myself i don't know why for some reason they just weren't building themselves they weren't popping up so i don't know what was going on so but that's fine i didn't mind putting them down myself okay let's go in actually if i just press play i think the sun is coming up yeah look at that sunset oh my god that looks so pretty but anyway just for you guys in case you already forget where we are so this is obviously our downtown semi stock and um over here is the highway so there's the highway right there and there's a blimp right there so if you ch check out that video you'll kind of know where we are and even if we're down here all of these high buildings up there they're not really in your face crazy i mean there are um eco-friendly buildings that are a lot higher than the ones that i've chose but i didn't want to overdo it because you know it just it's not a it's not a really dense place so i think really high buildings would definitely look out of place for up here so yeah it was it was definitely a challenge not to go too crazy and make it really dense and put like really high buildings so we're up here and um so in terms of road access it starts over here so there was already this existing um highway interchange exit exit entrance ramp whatever you'd like to call it this is the uh the big stadium area we've got the big aquatic center so there was already this connection here so i was like yeah let's just do it from there and um it goes straight up here D nice little bit of a turn something different it goes up through here goes past this random little lake i didn't put that there that was already there so i was like okay let's let's go past that that's nice comes up here nothing 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 so it's like you're really going out into the middle of nowhere still a pretty good view on this side not gonna lie that looks that looks pretty good wow 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 lots of nice colors um the sky looks awesome ah oh, this is just such a good city but anyway it comes up here and then you come over here and then oh we're <laughs> jumping over the trees but come around here and then you kind of get a quick little glimpse of everything that we're going towards down here so i just plop this down here i do need to fix up the angles on this because like come on really who did this oh bad playing but anyway anyway so we come down here and i just want to explain this little part right here this right here actually let's put the view in the background oh look at that view oh my god okay so this area right here this is basically a little um, I don't I don't know it's just got the shops it's got facilities so if we look at what it has it's got the clinic over here it's got the crematorium police the fire station was up there we've got some shops along here um, and then also I put in the electric car charging port so I thought that might be good for encouraging electric cars so shops at the bottom some residential on top parking in the middle and um, a little little lookout over here as well wow. and so basically I didn't want to put all of these facilities so like these ones the police and fire and stuff like that I didn't want to put all of those down in our our eco-friendly area because that's going to really clog up the roads down there I don't know why the cars are driving through the middle like that but I didn't want to put all of these yeah like I said I didn't want to put them all down in the eco area because it's going to clog up all the roads I don't want a really really busy road and once you see the area you'll see why um, you don't I want it to be a relaxing area you, like when you think of an eco village you think of no cars right you maybe you think of cycling you think of lots of trees um, recycling stuff like that what? so I just put everything up here it's very very close to everything so assuming they all have a car because there isn't actually a walkway up through here but yeah everything's just up there out of the way and I like that it's just a nice little area so here we are now let's go back to light da -da -da. Oh. there we go and did you guys no notice we're over 200,000 population now and $200,000 profit okay so now we have 
this area up here and this area down here. So originally this was the area. This was the one, um, what is this called? Hydro power plant. Okay, that's, that's actually easy. But up here, I was getting worried because there's a lot of water coming down through here. So I just plopped this one down and that's basically it. So I was thinking maybe someone's probably going to be like, what if it floods? Or something, <laughs> something like that. Well, let's just pretend that there's like some kind of water control. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Now, I didn't want to make the roads go all the way around. Uh, I didn't want to encourage more driving than they should be, basically. So you'll notice the road goes through here. And this is just a pedestrian bridge across here. But anyway, let's start back over here. So we have the two entry points, this one right here, close to our little shopping area. And then this one just continues straight over here. I've also made sure that there's a pathway going throughout the area. And also one main thing that I have done is this road right here. So if you look at the little symbol, yes, it is actually a cycling priority road, but cars can still technically drive on it. Oh, it just looks so good. So I wanted to use that and I, I'm using this a lot of smaller roads, like even these, these roads up here. I wanted to use smaller roads because obviously they take up less room. They just make everything look compact. And obviously we're in a eco-friendly area, so I don't want to take up a lot of space with roads. So yeah, you'll notice that throughout we also, I'm also using the, the cobblestone road with parking on the side, but yeah, I think a lot of the people are still moving into this area because there isn't really that much activity in terms of um, cyclists and pedestrians. So maybe it might take some time. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, I thought that was a, a, a bike down there, but it's not. Anyway. One thing I do want to point out is since this is such a split area, so if you were over here and you wanted to go over here, it's probably going to take you like a good 10, 15 minutes to walk. So what I actually did was we have two little shopping areas on either side. So this is the first one over here. Um, so there's a school here. You have all of your eco-friendly shopping buildings. There's a cafe, you got the little markets in through there. And um, yeah, I just thought that's really handy to have. So that one's right there, kind of centralized. And then if we go over here, this one's a little bit towards the end, but at least they still have this one. So um, not as pretty, actually, I forgot to do some detailing over here, but yeah, you still have some shops over here just to make it easier for them. So, and this is, it's maybe too many shops, but in terms of the population, in terms of population, 2,804, so we're almost at the household capacity. So people are still moving in, but it makes me wonder like, did I put in too many shops for the amount of people? Probably, probably, but at least it would probably give them jobs up here, just the, the lower class people, unless actually, I think some of them, some of these actually high class places, because I remember putting down five star eco buildings as well. But yeah, I just thought that was really, really handy to have two different little shopping areas. So it doesn't really show, for example, like, hey, this is the side where everything goes on. So it kind of, it does split it all up. And um, actually, ah, that was weird. When you zoom out, all of the decorations go, and then it comes back. But yeah, I didn't want one side to be like the main side versus the other side. So I wanted to make sure both sides have, you know, that, that main little centerpiece area. So I did put only one school over here. Um, it has a capacity 375, it's not even full yet. And um, if we look at the actual like cycling design, so this pathway goes all the way up to here and then it basically ends. So it is the road, but then they have to get off and then go on the pedestrian bridge, goes across, and then they can go back onto the cycling road again. And um, yeah, and then obviously once it comes down here, we have a more designated pathway, which would be quite nice because it goes along here. You get to see all of this and that looks, oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, and the view. Oh my God, that looks so nice. It really does look good. That guy needs water up there. What is our land value? It's only 27. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. A lot of adults, so that's good. But is everything full? Um, looks like there's someone in most of the places. That's a shop. Looks full up. Oh, this one doesn't have anyone. Okay, so that's a shop. Pretty much, maybe just one or two houses don't have anyone living in them, but that's all right. They'll move in eventually. Land value, 
not so good. I'm assuming it will increase because I literally just press play. But yeah, anyway, let's go into um, first person and have a little explore. In we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I just love exploring like this. Oh, that's a little bit overgrown, but that's all right. That's all right. We're in an eco area. We don't we don't go for cutting back the bush. We just let the bush go. Okay, so let's go down this way first. So down we go a little bit steeper. Come along here. Look at that view. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Someone's actually walking there. Oh, someone's walking over there too. Shock horror. But yeah, this is so cozy up here. Where is that? Ugh, I knew I heard an ambulance. God, they're noisy. I did actually turn on like electric cars and stuff like that, but they weren't, they weren't coming. I guess it takes a bit longer than I thought. I'm going to zoom past this ambulance because it's noisy. Oh my god. Okay, let's come down through here. Oh, trees are overlapping a little bit. Oh, I just noticed the cars aren't really, <laughs> they're kind of in the road. Oh, well, that's a small detail, doesn't really matter. And um, yeah, the larger buildings, I didn't want to overdo it. So I made sure that I used a nice variety of different larger buildings. And when I did larger buildings, I made sure that they don't really block the view of other larger buildings. Oh my God, that car. <laughs> and um, I, yeah, I didn't want to make it too compact. So you'll notice a lot of the larger buildings have um, a lot of greenery in between them. What's this? I have a road going up there. Where does this road go? God, this is bushy. Oh my God. God, where's the maintenance guy? Where's the maintenance people? Oh, it's this tree here. This tree is really low. I need to remove those trees. They're not very good. That car's hovering, it looks like. Lots of bushes. Yeah, it's very, very lush up here. Um, but I mean, it's eco houses, so it kind of all fits in, doesn't it? Let's go. Whoa, there we go. There we go. So you can actually see where we are. If we go across here. Duh, 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 duh. Look at that. You wouldn't even know that there's houses all, be all behind here. But you come in through here. And then back on the bike path, you've got some more houses. And then you come into an area with some larger ones. Sorry if this is really jumpy. But like, yeah, so here's some larger buildings. Then I put some green space around them. Oops, I just exited by accident. Oh well, looks like the people are coming in, so that's really, really good. And um, yeah, I think that's basically all I can say. I just wanted to, you know, go through it and just show you guys. And uh, like, here's an example. So you have the larger buildings, and then we have nothing really blocks their view. Well, maybe this one could be a little bit obstructed by this one, but generally they can see straight out to the lake, which is really, really nice. Is it a lake or a dam? I don't know. You have these larger buildings. Um, all of these buildings along here, all of the low residential area, they they don't have a view at all because it's all blocked by trees. So even if I remove if I remove the trees, they'd have a view. But um, that's just not the the style that I'm going for here. So the style is just bushy and just eco friendly. Lots of trees. It's very secluded it's cozy because of the mountains and lots of trees and things like that and it's very very relaxed i just wish there were more people up here because it does seem a little bit quiet even if we go into the main area i don't see anyone walking <laughs> not many cyclists either i did encourage cycling up here actually let me just have a quick look at all of these up here all of the policies Da, 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 da. nothing in there city planning encourage biking um we can do electric cars i did do this one and i did do these two as well but uh didn't work so good what if i press this for up here ban bikes on sidewalks so then i think it should encourage them to go on this more because this is looking a little bit pathetic come on and they do ride on the sidewalk and I'm like, come on, you have this really nice pathway right here with really nice views. Oh, there's the blimp. Hi blimp, let's go over to you. Here's our view from the blimp. I think we're actually inside the blimp, yeah. Okay, I can't turn around. Okay, let's exit, there we go. So, where is it? Oh my god, I'm lost. Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh, it's over here. There it is. Oh, see? It's so secluded that I forgot where it was. But yeah, look at that. You wouldn't even notice it's up there. So that's exactly how I wanted it. That's exactly how it should be. Lots and lots of trees. So this area, it is laggy. It's worth it though. It's worth it. So what do you guys think? Wow. What do you guys think? It's good. I like it. Something different. Um, 
I was like, are people going to complain that it's up high and I'm, and I'm doing high rises? But, I mean, usually if you're up really high, you wouldn't do high rises because of, like, wind and storms and stuff like that. But this is pretty secluded, so not too worried about that. So let's leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I actually had a lot of fun building this because it's something different. And I got to use the eco buildings. Actually... I kind of want to do another one because there's a lot of eco buildings in there, a lot of high ones that I want to use. I don't know what's going on here with the water, but yeah, I want to use all of these really high density eco buildings. And just one more thing before I go, if we are talking about the best thing for like an eco area, it's better to do high rises. Now, hear me out, hear me out before you all go crazy in the comments. It's better because if you look here at this this house three households 12 households using the same size so it's kind of like a bus so you can have a bus with 30 people or you can have 30 cars with one person per car so which one is going to have better value and uh, obviously eco-friendly you want to consume the least amount of space so high-rise buildings would be more efficient the only thing is you're going to need better roads for all of that so that's just something to think about that's something that is thought about in real life town planning as well so yeah let's just leave it at that and um, i'll catch you guys in the next episode bye guys wow, wow, wow.